Now we'll discuss some of the frequently asked questions when producing water drop effect emulsions using Sungen Specialty Emulsifiers, Water Drop Sill, Water Drop Sill D, and Eco Drop Gel. Now we will talk about some of the most frequently asked questions for the preparation of berry balm. And we'll give you some tips on how to resolve these questions. So the three areas I'm going to talk about are ingredient selection, choosing the right equipment, and the formulation procedure. So for ingredient selection, for the emollients, the best emollients to use preparing berry balm are low viscosity, nonpolar emollients. And now we'll talk about the waxes. For berry balm, lower melting point waxes are preferred in order to produce the structure of berry balm. Higher melting point waxes can result in a different structure and also typically require higher temperatures, which then can result in loss of water by evaporation as you're preparing the batch in the lab. Next, we'll talk about choosing the right equipment for use in the laboratory. So in the lab, the type of mixers that would be preferred are either propeller blades or this blade type mix mixer. And we want to make sure that the size of the blade is proportionate to the size of the beaker so the correct flow will be maintained. So the smaller size blade for a smaller size beaker and a larger size propeller for a larger beaker. What we don't want to do is have a blade that is too small, like this one in the larger beaker, because the flow will be lost during the preparation. Okay. And then th the third topic is the formulation procedure. When you produce berry balm in the laboratory, berry balm is a water is a water in oil emulsion, so you'll be gradually adding the water phase to the oil phase. You start at a low speed and you gradually increase the speed as the viscosity is increasing to maintain the flow rate within the emulsion. Now as the emulsion thickens, you'll start to increase the speed and continue to add the water phase, watching to be sure that the flow is uniform. You may observe that water begins to build at the side of the beaker at the interface between the beaker and the emulsion. When this happens, use, you need to sweep the beaker with a blade or a spatula in order to have good incorporation of all of the ingredients into the emulsion. When you reach the highest speed and all of the water is added, you can continue stirring for a few minutes and then the batch will be complete and you can start to cool it. Now, we do have questions about homogenization. Homogenizers are not preferred in the laboratory. Homogenizers will reduce the water droplet size and the, very, the water drop effect will be lost. In production, it may be necessary to use homogenizers and we would typically recommend that the homogenizer be used at a lower speed. And one additional tip when you're producing water drop emulsions, when the batch is near completion, you can take a small portion of the batch and test it on your hand to observe the water droplet size. Or you can look at the emulsion under the microscope. If the droplets appear too large, increasing the speed of <clears throat> the mixer will then help to reduce the droplet size. So hopefully these tips or answers to the questions will help you with the production of um, the moisturizing berry balm formulation. And thank you for watching this video.